Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Exhibit A Brewing Company. This is Goody Two Shoes, and these guys are up in Massachusetts. This was sent to me by Greg, and he writes uh, that it's a coast style ale, and it was contributed by Rob. So Rob, thanks a bunch for getting this over to Greg so he could get it down to me. Guys, this is a 4.5 percenter. I don't buy a lot of 4.5 percent of beers. I don't care what style it is. I'm, these are basically session beers, and I don't session beers anymore. So it would be a good pool beer, a good beach beer. Uh, something where if you wanted to drink multiples of it and not be too inebriated uh, and this one shouldn't be a big hot bomb or anything like that it should be a, a very crisp easy drinking light uh, style of beer very clean uh, good lawnmower beer uh, like I said all of these lower than 5% ABVs uh, are very easy drinking uh, almost a step above Kool-Aid or, or iced tea, if you will. So uh, I don't buy a lot of these beers. I don't buy any of these beers. I just review them when they are sent to me. Uh, but uh, being that low of an ABV uh, and me only being able to drink a couple a day, uh, I just don't, I want I want a little bit more alcohol, a little more body to my beer since I'm not buying a four or six pack of a 4.5 percenter and drinking them all at one session. And on top of that, I don't drink the same beer twice in the same day. So uh, another reason why I don't session beers and, and haven't for well over 10 years, guys. Uh, so uh, anyway, we're going to get to this. Goody Two Shoes, Coast Style Ale, very low ABV. Uh, on the bottom here, it's on the rim, and instead of in the center, it's over here on the outside. It says canned on 0703 of 19. So, uh, 03 of July, 03 of August, 03. This is about mm, about nine weeks old, guys. So, uh, a little over two months. So, a uh, big 16 ounce can, and it looks like it is a printed up can, guys. But it looks like to me, I can't feel anything. So, they've actually printed this can up. So, they wasted wasted money doing that, putting on then a stick on label on it so anyway he doesn't tell me what this beer cost very light colored coming out of the can this has, should have a bready crackery aroma and, and taste to it uh, on that pour about a finger and a half of head it is a very light amber color guys Bottle bubble streaming up. To the nose we go. Yep, and that's exactly what I'm getting, guys. A uh, little bit of breadiness and cracker malt. Maybe just a slight hint of some grassy or graininess, but not much. Not like a lager or a pilsner is going to have. More bready, crackery notes uh, to me very clean and crisp smelling not any alcohol at all on the nose smells good uh, a, probably a very tasty lawnmower beer uh, and that's what I call this and it's not a derogatory statement it's just something that you could be out working in the yard and come in and have a couple of these and go back out and continue doing what you're doing and not be stumbling around drunk that's not it cheers everybody cheers Greg and Rob thank you both Yes, very crisp and clean, very refreshing, just like iced tea or Kool-Aid would be on a hot summer day. 
and being in a can, you pack it in, pack it out. Very pool and beach friendly. You don't have to worry about a, a bottle breaking or anything like that. So, uh, and it's 16 ounce on top of that. So, uh, a little bang for your buck there. A little bit more, a couple more ounces in, in the package. Very refreshing, guys. No doubt about it. Not any alcohol taste to me whatsoever. Like drinking Kool Aid. So, well, let me sip on this and uh, let me just do the back end pour before we go off camera. I don't think it's going to change the color or appearance of it any at all. Just a very uh, slight hint of some, maybe some lemon or slight lemon zest citrusy notes in there. Not much, but just a slight hint. I'm getting a little bit of lemoniness to it too. So let me sip on this and we'll come back and we'll give it a great. All right guys, I'm back for something not a little while. Nice lawnmower beer guys. Uh, doesn't blow my hair back on my socks off. Uh, no session beers do anyway. Uh, not something that I would buy. Glad I got to try it. Uh, all you cats out there that want to buy a four pack or six pack and drink them all at one time. Yeah, this is probably a good one to pick up. Uh, that way you're not going to be too inebriated. Not be stumbling around and falling down face drunk in the dirt. Uh, but for me, just doesn't do it for me. But it is what it is. These session beers usually are unimpressive to me because I'm used to drinking seven percenters and up. So it is what it is. Final joke. Good lot more beer, guys. Nice crackery, biscuity malt, hint of some lemon in there. Very crisp, very refreshing. No alcohol in the taste whatsoever. It's a B plus beer, guys. So that's where I'm going to put it because they got the date on it and they got the ABV on the can. If it didn't have either one of those, it wouldn't get that great. So B plus for me, 88. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 89. Yeah, wouldn't argue with that. And over to Untapped, they have it at 3.68, which is in their B range. It's not even to the B plus. So uh, benefit of the doubt because it does have the date on it and the ABV on the can. Uh, a good session beer, if you will. A nice, crisp, clean lawnmower beer. So, glad I got to try it. Thanks again to Greg and Rob for this. If you've had this one from Exhibit A, the Goody Two Shoes Colch Style Ale. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.